in the Commons Chamber. I said, sob that, I'm going to be on the picket line. There's been a number of MPs here today, Katie Clark, Dave Anderson, Jeremy Corbyn, and a number of others, and I'd like to thank them for joining us on the picket lines today. This has been a real success. Osborne, I've been listening to Osborne on this and on the radio, and he's basically told us statistically the economy's booming, that there's rising employment, increased wealth, and we've never had it so good in Britain with a pulse that isn't saying austerity is failing. What we need now is to recognise we're the seventh richest country in the world. We have the wealth and resources to invest, but those wealth and resources are held in the wrong hands. That's why we need the rich and the corporations to pay their taxes. So we in our infrastructure, in the homes we need, the schools, the hospitals. That's why we're saying to those other unions who've supported us today, thank you for that solidarity and comradeship. But we say to the TUC and all those other unions that are not with us today, that it's your turn now to come and join us in this campaign. We want... We want coordinated action. Do you know, we're being polite when we call it coordinated action. Sod it, we want a general strike. We want people out. Because that's the only way we can fight, by like withdrawing our labour and through the solidarity that we can exercise together. We can win this campaign. We can win this campaign. Because people know austerity is not working. We have popular support. People are fighting back and marching to save their hospitals, to occupy the premises that are being cut by local authorities and campaigning against welfare benefit cuts. We've got to link that action together. The industrial action with the direct action and the campaigning right the way across our community. And by linking in solidarity, we can win. Solidarity. Thank you so much, John.